I dance with other people that we human beings we cannot see. But are we capable of smelling them? Are we able to hear them when they talk to us? Vincent Manzo, an award-winning dancer who was born in Soweto Township of Johannesburg, South Africa. His work is rooted in the spiritual. His unique style is influenced by the culturally specific dance aesthetics found in Europe, Asia and Africa. Well, I, 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 I'm born in a family of uh, what we call in South Africa, uh, the Sangomas. Uh, and the Sangomas uh, in South Africa uh, is uh, known as uh, the, the shamans or the traditional healers. Uh, not even having to think about uh, what contemporary dance is uh, during the, the time that I was born in South Africa. I was born in a time of uh, apartheid in South Africa, very, very difficult for many of uh, the black people. My father, he passed away, uh, unfortunately, a couple of years ago. Uh, but it took him a, a while to, to really give me the necessary support to say yes. And that time, the transition between the apartheid time was, was a kind of like ending. So he said to me, no, you're not going anywhere. You know, you, 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 you're lying. I said, yeah, I'm going to, to Spain uh, next month. I said, well, this is my suitcase because I'm, I'm leaving next week. You know, and he couldn't believe until I, I put myself in a plane and we, I left. And then, then suddenly he believed that, okay, so this is your talent, this is what you want to do, fine. He understood that. So, you know, to, to soften uh, him, I think uh, it really took a lot of uh, encouragement uh, from him. And I think my mother pushed him uh, a lot uh, to say that, you know, leave him alone. Maybe he will uh, show us what he, you know, he can do. Vincent combines his formal training as a Western dancer with his curiosity for the cultural and spiritual world, which came from home, where tradition had been embraced with dances, ceremonial rituals and songs at the Sangomas. Uh, well, <laughs> you know, one, one of the, uh, the things that I learned, uh, especially the first time when I, uh, I was trained as a contemporary dancer, is that uh, the first time I walked in a studio of uh, so-called maybe white supremacy, uh, is that, of course, uh, myself and my peers are from the township, we arrive, and the first thing that we noticed in the room it was uh, black, it was uh, only white. It's uh, full of white dancers, limbering, stretching, leaping up and down, and they were wearing tights, and the men wearing tights, and, you know, of course, that was a cultural shock for to see a, 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 a man wearing a tight. Uh, and it was like, okay, uh, maybe we're in the wrong space, and, uh, uh, and they said, no, 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 you are in the right place. So obviously, you know, we came from the township, poor, with uh, normal clothes, nothing on us except the money for transfer for the bus. So for us, you know, it was not usual to see men, women, white, leaping, dancing, because traditionally, African dance is more grounded, it's on the ground. Why? Because there's a lot of communication between yourself, the body, your spirit, which is inside, and the floor, 
because the floor it represents the ancestors for us. So, and of course, for the white dancers who come from the trained classical ballet, contemporary, you know, to be flying, they think more of uh, angels, and uh, so for us, it was not like that. So, to be able to balance the two, which uh, later on, when I was training, I called it a yin and yang, uh, the balance between negative and positive. Dance, for Vincent, is the language of respect, trust, and the preservation of culture. Working as a soloist has allowed him to connect with people from all over the world and to appreciate more aspects of himself and what he has to offer. <laughs> Dancing is uh, is a way of ex expression, of course, for um, many many of uh, the dancers uh, all over the world. But for me personally, uh, dance has uh, taught me uh, uh, the respect of culture, uh, the respect of uh, tradition, uh, and uh, respecting uh, different uh, uh, outcomes of uh, different uh, uh, artistic uh, development. Uh, but one thing for sure that uh, he has taught me is that, you know, uh, dance has taught me the self-healing. Uh, because uh, when I dance, I feel uh, completely uh, healed by the process of uh, what I'm going through. You have to be totally open and uh, be free, not to congest yourself uh, to only one identity, which is the body itself just moving around the space because this, the body, it can basically divide itself in different dimensions. His body is the catalyst for expression. The dancer pushes the limits of technique by connecting with joy, with grief, and with shadows from the past and present. Meaning that, you know, my grandmother said to me, or she asked me, basically, she asked me, so she calls me Kuku. Kuku, how many shadows do you see when you walk at night? And, uh, it was a puzzling question for me. I was young. And I said, well, only one shadow. She said, well, at night, walk again when it's full moon and look how many shadows do you have when you walk. So it happens that I walk at night with the full moon and I look around me, how many shadows do I see? Seven. And the body itself is here. The physical body is here. But then four, seven shadows around me. Those are my ancestors. They are protecting me. So in order for me to be able to be larger than life itself on stage and to be more grounded, but then at the same time fluid, is to able to gather all these energies, these shadows, bring them inside my body, and then be able to generate this uh, negative and positive inside the body, not outside, because the outside is uh, only the skin.
I am no longer Vincent. I am somebody else. So my body, it can expand 10 times more than my normal body. Yet at the same time, I can be grounded. I know exactly where I have to go. I know exactly where, when to stop. Raised in a family of shamas, traditional healers, Vincent's memories of ritual dancing continue to inspire his choreography. The rhythms are meant to transcend the mundane, to move healers in and out of trance-like states that enliven the spirit and open new doors to knowledge, connection, healing and direction. I quite remember that, uh, you know, when I was uh, very young, um, I woke up uh, every single morning, uh, like four o'clock in the morning, uh, having to beat the drum, uh, you know, to basically to greet the ancestors, the spirits, um, you know, to be able to, before, so that we, before we can go to work, that, you know, there is that communication between uh, the past and the present. Uh, so that for me, uh, it has become a part of uh, uh, the ceremonial process where I have, of course, uh, I had to be able to dance at the same time. Uh, so uh, I think, you know, for me to be able to start dancing first, uh, first and foremost, is to, to dance for my ancestors. Mm -hmm. 